Michigan Out of Doors Magazine's OD is brought to you by Country Smokehouse of Almond, offering the best quality and satisfaction in homemade meats, sausage, and jerky. It's a Michigan destination. Check out the website at countrysmokehouseinc.com. And by Williams Gun Sight. Located in Davison, Williams Gun Sight has mid-Michigan's largest selection of used guns with over 2,000 in stock every day. Check out the website to view inventory and prices. Well, here we are, a couple days away from spring turkey season, and uh, obviously it doesn't feel very much like it. It's been a, a strange spring, as you guys all know, and uh, usually I like to get out and scout quite a bit for spring turkey season. And I don't know about Gabe, but I haven't felt like it actually made much sense to do that. I've been out a couple mornings listening just to kind of get myself going. I've actually hunted two states already, and... Uh, I don't know. I think this first week of the turkey season is going to be pretty tough. I think it is. It's it's pretty cold. It's supposed to be windy, rainy. Mm -hmm. I think for your youth season this weekend, it's going to be tough down in Ohio. Yeah, and what I'm seeing is the turkeys are really still in those winter flocks. Mm -hmm. um, we're in southern Michigan, so they're probably as scattered here as they are anywhere in Michigan. Uh, the further north I think you go, the more flocked up that they're going to be. Mm -hmm. And I uh, hunted in uh, Nebraska, and they were really grouped up and they gobbled a lot on the roost, but once they hit the ground, you couldn't do anything with them. They just didn't want to respond to calls, even more so, I think, than they are normally when they're grouped together. So I don't know how much they worry about weather, but those turkeys definitely acted different than I'd seen before, and I think we're gonna see that same thing here. It's a good thing if you're in front of them. Right. If you're not, it really screws you up, so. Right, well, let's just talk real briefly, and we're gonna show you a couple hunts from last year. Um, what's your approach gonna be uh, for the first week of the season? Um, I'm just going to be scouting like crazy. Uh, the last couple days I've been out uh, watching where turkeys are going. Uh, not so much listening to them on the roost. You can listen to them on the roost, but and when they're in those big flocks, you got to know where they're going to be and where they're going to be feeding. So um, trying to nail down some of those and make it good for video, that's the tough part about right. what we do. So um, just uh, scouting is going to be the key. If I don't get out scout, it's going to be tough to kill a right. bird. Uh, last week I was in Oklahoma uh, hunting turkeys and, and they're Rio's there so they're always kind of grouped but they act a lot like turkeys here do when they're grouped up and what we did um, we found where they went up on the roost and we got almost underneath them not exactly where we wanted to be we were a little too close but we used a strutter decoy and uh, two hens and those turkeys went right in the field and went right to that strutter so if you have a situation where you've got a field, you know the turkeys are there and they are in those groups, uh, I wouldn't be uh, at all afraid to use that strutter right now. No. I think we've, we've had pretty good luck with decoys yep. early, but yep. I think you've had the same problem with them late, right. haven't you? Yeah, as, as the season goes on, especially the strutter. Now, a mm -hmm. half strut like that Dave Smith, uh, yep. Jake, that's going to work a lot of the times mm -hmm. yep. depending on the turkey, but the full-blown strutter seems to be the deal right now. So. You know, like Gabe said, get out in front of them, um, and hopefully the weather will break a little bit. And I think as it gets warmer, they're really going to break up and they'll start to call a lot better. Yeah. But speaking of calling a lot better, you had a pretty exciting spring last year, so what are we going to see? <laughs> We're going to see all sorts of stuff. Uh, we just need to get excited about turkey season, and that's what I love to do, what you yeah. love to do. I love to just see turkeys, and uh, so stay tuned. We're going to show you some of our best stuff from last year.
he is down. Oh, he is down. Oh. Oh my goodness. Whew. And he comes out into this trail and he is gobbling. He is strutting and he is unwilling to commit for quite a while, but oh, he came down, got right on that decoy. Um, we had a good shot all lined up and then I had brush in my way. I had to wait for him to clear, but as soon as he cleared, whew, I think I laid a nice smack down, watch him fly, he took off down here and he's laying down on the ground here about 100 yards down. Oh, 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 oh awesome. Oh, there he is. We got him. Roost him last night, saw him moving out in the field. Thought, let's set up on this track. He down this trail, he's got to be in here. And sure enough, oh, he came right in. Oh, he came in, no problems. He was gobbling the whole way, letting us know he was on his way. And then just put on a show. Did he ever just strutting back and forth and back and forth. Trying a new hunt this year. Um, oh, he's done it with a shotgun. He even tried a muzzle loading shotgun. Um, this is my first season going with a stick and string. Tried the crossbow by Horton. Oh, and it laid the smack down on this boy. Did you see him take off after I hit him? He got about two feet off the ground, flew about 200 yards, and then bam, it was over. Oh, it was beautiful. Hey, was that up close or personal? What? 